Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, from March 22nd, a new rule is up for gaming industry in Korea regarding RNG loot boxes. I will show you in a minute what is officially written within that law, but to put it on simple way, for every RNG loot box in the game, it must be written percentage, what is probability that you will get certain item. Actually, I can show you in the game, here in Throne and Liberty, one of the new games released recently in Korea, already in the game, this law is implemented. Let me show you here inventory, for example, one of the RNG loot boxes, this is one of the RNG bags, and if you click here on this tab here, where you can see percentage, you can see here exactly percentage, what probability you have that you will get certain items. This new law, this new rule doesn't mean that you will get some rare items more often. However, it's clear now, for example here, what probability I have to get best item from this bag. For example here, you can see here 17%, obviously this item is pure garbage. This item here also 4.92% pure garbage. Rare Marine, not so bad, but okay, 11%. And if I scroll a little bit down here, you will see here actually drop which I wanna take. For example, this longbow, 0.12%. Another item here, weapon, very nice weapon, greatsword, 0.12%. As you can see here, we have a very low percentage probability that you'll get some very good items, but at least now you know. Now let's check the law, we are going back here to these uh, boxes to show you a little bit more in details. And let's check information which we have get officially here on Inven. You can see here title, starting today, 22nd March. If you violate the probability item information, you will be punished. So there will be people checking, are gaming developers actually implementing this law in their games? and they will punish if not, right? So let's check official information. We have here the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, Minister Yo In Chon, here and after referred to as Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism, announced that the starting on the 22nd, Article 33 of the Game Industry Act and Article 19-2 of the Enforcement Degree of the same act will be implemented and the probabilities of random items will be transparently disclosed. You can check this full article here on Inven. I will not bother you with details. However, what is important here, and which is actually true, you can see here on the end of this article, right? Minister Yo In Chon said, disclosure of random item information is an opportunity to restore the lost trust between game users and game operators. And that's true. I wish that we could get this law globally. Imagine that, right? Because currently, like Minister said, or their right gentleman from Korea, right, that there is not much trust between players and gaming developers and publishers regarding these RNG boxes. You can see here, this is another RNG box. Again, percentage is here, right? When you look at this box, like before here, you can see some amazing purple items, amazing purple weapons. But when you click on percentage, like I said, this doesn't mean that you'll have some higher probability. This law doesn't uh, make this possible that you'll get some higher probability of this item, some rare items. Nevertheless, now you know at least that, for example, if I want to get this stuff, purple stuff, I have 0.12 percentage probability. I know you will say this is very low. Yes, this is very low, but at least now we can see. And it's clearly, transparently now written here, right? For every bag in the game, for every RNG loot kind of bag, right? So I wish that we could get this law globally, right? This law is currently up on servers in Korea for gaming developers and publishers from Korea. However, imagine when we would have this law globally. It would be amazing, right? And people probably wouldn't buy that much often these loot boxes. For example, in this game here, which I'm currently playing on service in Korea, Throne and Liberty, these bags I have get for free just by playing the game, right? I didn't buy them for real money. Nevertheless, this kind of situation, right? It would be amazing to see globally for different gaming publishers and developers regarding items which you buy with real money. So imagine that you could actually see what percentage probability you have to get some item. Yes, of course, garbage, you will, you will get uh, opportunity to get garbage, percentage 17.7%, 5%, 11% garbage items. If you want to get something valuable, 
at least now I know I have 0.12 probability chance that I get this stuff. You know what is funny? Actually, I have uh, opened like uh, maybe one week ago about 60 of these bags on another character. And actually, I can get one of these purple items. So I was lucky. 0.12 right percent probability. But at least now I know what is probability that I get something valuable out of these bags. Also, I want to show you another box here in the game. Very interesting uh, blessing pouch or a lucky bag. That was previously name of this bag. Because uh, we have here very interesting percentages regarding throne and liberty. If you are interested into this new upcoming MMORPG. We are still waiting for some kind of announcement from Amazon Games regarding global release of this game. So this blessing pouch is relatively easy to get. However, there is a limitation how much you can buy every day. You can buy basically one pouch every day. And I was always wondering regarding different kind of percentages. Now you can see here, for example, a rare uh, crystals, uh, these materials which you need uh, for crafting different kind of gear. 10%, 2%, 5%, all depends. But look at this here regarding these lithographs. Lithographs are actually recipes for crafting gear. Let's call it like that. If you're not acquainted with Throne and Liberty, just to let you know, this game have a very extensive uh, crafting system, let's say it on that way. You can craft a different kind of armor, weapon, accessories, different kind of items, among other things, weapons, right? Now you can see here, to get this recipe, to be able to craft this dagger, I have 0.069% probability. Actually, 0.06976% probability. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Kind of funny, this is very low. You can see for all of these recipes, Purple, okay, it is a purple gear, which is currently best grade of the gear. However, these items are not even best in slot. These items are not best in slot. Nevertheless, probability that I get from these bags, this recipe for the weapons is 0.069%, right? This is really kind of interesting to see. I was checking this list right uh, all day. And uh, yeah, absolutely positive move, even that it's looking a little bit funny when you're looking these percentages now in Throne and Liberty. But I think regarding other, other games in Korea, but in general, you're right, all over the world, you would see some very similar percentages regarding getting a rare gear. You know, to get something really good out of some RNG loot boxes, RNG bags like this one. I think that percentages probably would be the same, maybe even lower than this. Maybe even 0.01%, maybe even lower. This is very good idea, without any doubt, from Ministry of Culture, Sport and Tourism over there in Korea. And like I said, I wish in the future we will see some kind of similar low, or maybe exactly low like this, globally. If the probability is 0.01%, Fine, let it be, but at least you will know. Not that you're hoping, come on, maybe I will get it, and probability is like seriously like 0.01%. So probabilities are low, it's kind of funny to see, right? But actually, like I said, you can get some items even with 0.12% probability, right? And yeah, right? This is uh, big news and good news uh, coming from Korea regarding gaming industry over there. Absolutely. I know that players will like this. Regarding gaming developers and publishers, well, I'm not sure will they like this uh, new law or not. However, however, this is a good way to establish some kind of trust between players and gaming companies, gaming developers and publisher. And absolutely, this transparency is something positive and very nice to see over there on servers in Korea. For today, just to bring you this good news on even, like I said, I don't want to turn this into reading uh, reading session, right? You can see here full article. I will not read to you everything here, but uh, basically what is happening, this is a new law for gaming industry in Korea. Uh, yeah, sounds good, right? Tell me in the comments below video, what do you think about this uh, new law, this uh, new idea uh, regarding uh, RNG loot boxes to make it clear, transparent, uh, what the probability you have in percentage to get some item. Let me know in the comments below video, would you like to see something like this implemented in the game all over the world, globally, right? That would be an amazing idea in my opinion at least, but uh, let me know in the comments below video. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. See you soon.